I want to inform you that the Ministry of Health has confirmed the first coronavirus case in Kenya. When uh, two cases of COVID were announced by the government, uh, it was scary for everyone and uh, we did not know how to roll out and uh, the dangers that were coming with it. So as an organization, we took the initiative to close down operations from head office and branch offices. Suspending field operations meant that we would not physically visit the groups because we visit the groups and that's how we work every day, meeting with them, engaging with them, and that, that meant that COVID-19 had come to disrupt us. We did a rapid needs assessment, targeted 579 members, and they gave us an array of their needs and the challenges they were going through. We realized the savings had gone down significantly and uh, in fact some had slipped back to poverty in terms of people living on 1.9 uh, dollars a day. Bile COVID ilikuja, kazi ilikuwa mzito, singe weza kulipa nyumba, nikaambia mustiana wangu wa rudi home, singe weza kumulipa, customer wakaenda, kuzi hakukuwa na pesa hati mtu wanaweza kuja kushonesha nguo, hata nikarudi home. It really hit us hard and also there was a scare. That's when maybe you could just go for a day without making sales. I actually closed for a week. It was really, really hard. We took it on ourselves to talk to our donors and our network partners. That is Hand in Hand Sweden and Hand in Hand International. And they also managed to give us uh, support. So funding we got for what we'd call the equivalent of frontline uh, COVID response. Hand in Hand objective of existence is to eradicate poverty through creation of jobs and enterprises. So we had to tailor our COVID response around the same to make sure that as we, as we respond and the funds available are also going to benefit the same beneficiaries in terms of enhancing enterprises. So because there was a, a challenge of a disruption of enterprises and many people lost jobs and enterprises, we were able to support some of those members to diversify their enterprises uptaking COVID-19 related enterprises. Skills that they train is things like soap making, uh, establishment of kitchen gardens, and especially the urban farming where we have the multi-story gardens. Those ones help actually in addressing the issues of food security to a very great extent. And they came in handy during COVID because when markets are closed, people can go to their yards and the gardens and pick something to feed the family on. Hand in hand, we had to fund some abomengi. Kama kurima izi zaina nyingi za boga. Kwa hiyo wakati wa corona, nilikuwa nikiwauzia hapa hapa. Na kwa bei mzuri, juu hawana. Maisa yagu ikaedelea bere nikapata do sa kununuria watoto wagu uga na za kusafe. Sasa maisa yagu ilikuwa ikiedelea tu be, bere juu ya hadi ni ha, ya hadi ni hadi. Hai kusimama hata kidogo. Nae hadi ni hadi ilikuja kwa wakati wake sababu hadi ni hadi ilitufudisa file tutakaa na hatuku ya tunajua kama hii ugojwa itakuja. Sababu tulisoma kutoka kwao file tutajueka kwa boma, tukapanda boga, tukawa na hii, tukawa na mirigora hui, ifo. Sasa tunaona ili tusaidia. The issue of those skills being practically applicable in local setups is amazing. Disrupted supply chains have proved that you can do it locally with the many people who are engaging in entrepreneurship, one may be doing much. After COVID kuingia, sasa ikawa huwezi shona guwe za venye tumezoea, za matebezi, kanisa hivo. Ikabidi sasa, nilazima ujipange, ucheji. Hapo nikaanza kutegenesa sabuni, hiyo detergent yenye tulikuwa tumevunzwa na ni na kuuza kwa mairokarete na hata tukaanza kutegene, nikaanza kutegeneza mask. 
nikitumia material zo hizi za cotton, polyester watu wakaanza kununua hiyo ilitusaidia kukaa tu kwa kazi na kupata kitu ya kukula kwa wiki nilikuwa na supply ya 1000 masks kwa hand in hand na wanazi supply kwa Kiambu town na imenishikilia sana sana kwa biashara kuuza saa hii nalipa nyumba na hiyo hiyo pesa za ya mask na ita, inatusaidia pia sana huku kwa nyumba hata vile kazi mingi zilifungwa mimi pia nikiwa huku nyumbani nafanya kazi tu ya mask na inanifurahisha sana kwa sababu najua nasaidia nasaidia watu wengi sana kuji, kujikinga na covid naona hiyo liquid soap western wetu wame manage kutengeneza so tukaitengeneza ikakuwa mpaka hand wash ndio unapeleka wameweka kwa machupa 20 bob 30 bob unapata in a day a full five liters jerica nenda wale vijana tunafanya na wao wengi wao ni wale wanapata watoto wakiwa katika umri mdogo na wakati hawana income hata wale watoto wanaangaika sana so wakati wanafanya sabuni wanauza wanaleta hii chakula nyumbani process them they became outputs we bought those and then they were able to one earn a living supply soaps and we were able to use the donor funds uh, very well I've learned how to manage my business uh, especially the cash flow how to attract customers you can see the display actually I did this after I joined hand in hand uh, actually I've been able to distinguish the capital and the profit act of savings and actually bookkeeping we realized that covid may stay a little longer than we expected we made sure that we are able to develop mechanisms of coming back to full operations agreed on how to do social distancing how to have faced uh, visits to the office so that we are not all there together uh, to avoid overcrowding and we stopped some of the things like the gathering that resilience that we built by constant communication constant training even on phone and even through other uh, means of meeting people we were able to make sure that our projects are standing the way we have been approaching it was more and more practical and making it available and reachable at the lowest level possible for all those members who are able to join the hands and hand in hand groups uh, whom we mobilize train and ensure that they are coming out of poverty.